As grocery prices remain high, some are wondering if community gardens could be a good way to save money. Twin States News' Jacob Isrobi speaks to one organization in Newton County who's working to help the community. The Future Farmers of America organization in Newton County has opened this garden to those in need of fresh produce. It gives us a chance to both give the students fresh food for themselves, their families, and also offer the chance for the community uh, for those that are out there that might just need some fresh produce, they can have it available for them. FFA advisor Matthew Braylon feels that as the prices of groceries are on the rise, more people in the community are relying on community gardens. Providers and our consumers, you know, they want something that is grown locally. And when you can tack on the aspect of it being grown by students in the community, that, that is something that they really just, they want. There's a huge demand for that. So is there a strict need for freshly grown produce? The demand for food is never going to be lower. And with the world population constantly growing, it's only going to be needed more and more. Matthew also offers advice to those looking to start growing their own produce. Start small. Start what you know, but also reach out to the community that you have available. The FFA says it's offering fresh produce to those in the community as the cost of grocery continues to rise. In Noon County, Jacob Osrobi, Twin States News.